to say and greet you with a proper South Afrikaans good day because this winter warmer hearty food session I went through my grandmother's archives of cookbooks. This dish specifically was cooked from the heart from my grandmother and later she did it from from memory um, but I had to steal this recipe to bring it a little bit closer to home and, and share it with the rest of you. Um, but Bhutti and Gheel Reis um, is one of my absolute favorites, but the Bhutti itself tra traces back all the way back to the origin of the Malayans or Malaysians. Um, and it came, comes from the word bumbu, which translates basically to, to curry spices. In the 1600s, so 1609, it was dated in a, a first cookbook in the Dutch. Um, part of the world and then it was brought down all the way to South Africa and now we are very proud to say that this is a true South African dish. Um, so wherever you are traveling through South Africa I can promise you now you will either find Baburti Jaffles or Baburti uh, Fine Dining or Baburti Fit Cook or Fat Cakes or you will have a Baburti flavored and actually just comes down to the combination of how the dish is put together and I am super excited to share this amazing dish with you. The trick is that um, everything comes down to time. It's really quick and easy to assemble everything and put it together. However, the cooking time varies between about 45 minutes to an hour and a half. So um, because there is so much love going into it, I would prepare a little bit extra time to prepare this dish. But once it's all assembled and together, you can leave it, do something for an hour and then come back and just to serve a fantastic meal. I am excited to share this with you as my family and I'm excited for you to share this with your family as well. Enjoy! that I was sitting on the counter, feet still dangling because I was that small while grandma is cooking and her sharing all of these recipes. Now I don't know about your grandmothers but mine used to concentrate very intensely while she was busy with her meal and the baburti was definitely one of those. Um, so I hope that this takes you a little bit back not only into a little bit of our South African history but back into your grandma's kitchen where you're enjoying a proper traditional food um, yeah I think the best comes down to, to taste of course you can enjoy the booty with a little bit of chutney proper mrs. balls chutney um, the choice is 100% yours but the combination all together it all just comes down to putting everything together in one big big bite let's see if we can manage to do so toast The reason why we started this winter warmer hearty food series is to bring a little bit not only 
toastiness from the inside out because it's so nice and, and cold outside, but really bringing hearty food to to not only to the table but into to your homes as well. And uh, it's really such a privilege to see all the feedback and comments coming through of how you are enjoying it. So please keep it coming. It is such a pleasure to make sure or to see how you are enjoying with all your comments, your likes and shares. And uh, of course, seeing our following um, just continue to, to rise up and going up the ranks. So thank you so much for your support. A special thank you to our suppliers. You are, guys are absolutely amazing and we love you very much. From Toast, from me, thank you so very much for joining us for another episode. Thank you so much for toasting with Anlay.